Today we're going to take a look at how to turn any footage into a clip that looks like it's taken straight from a glitchy CCTV camera using only editing techniques and effects that you'll find inside Premiere Pro. Alright guys and welcome back to Editor's Life and in this Premiere Pro tutorial we're going to look at how to apply grades and time code stamps to footage, we're going to add some noise or static effects, we're then going to look at adding a variety of different digital glitch effects that you'll find inside Premiere Pro and finally we're going to move on to how to reduce the frame rate along with adding some freeze frames in an attempt to make it look like the video is all part of a CCTV camera monitor. So for this footage I got a couple of friends to help me out and I had the genius idea of using a drone for a top down angle totally forgetting that the wind that day was absolutely horrific so you guys are gonna to have to do me a massive favor and ignore the fact that the CCTV camera looks like it's a handheld shot. I've added some timestamps to the video so you can find the parts that are relevant to you but for those of you that want to work your way through the whole tutorial we're gonna start by applying a simple black and white color grade to this footage. So I'm just gonna open up my Lumetri color panel here and then we're gonna start by just pulling down the highlights, bring this down I'm then going to look at adding some contrast, so I'm going to go to the basic correction tab and I'm going to push this up to 150. I'm going to bring the shadows down to about minus 15 and finally I'm going to put the saturation to zero. Inside your curves if you want more of like a sepia look come to your blue colours and you can pull this down but I think I'm just going to nudge the highlights up a little bit to give it more of a black and silver look. Back in the editing tab we're just going to look at adding the first effect so I'm going to come up to effects and I'm going to type in posterize and I'm going to drag this posterize time effect onto the footage and then reduce the frame rate to about four and then we're going to add some time code to the video so I'm just going to come back here open this up and then we're going to add a transparent video layer drag this above your footage and then search the time code effect for this I'm just going to change the opacity to 100 because I don't want it to be transparent at all and then I'm going to change the time code source to generate Going to bring this frame rate to about 25 uncheck the field symbol which is this little icon here if you scroll down you can add a camera number to this so in your label text just go to camera one and then i want the starting time code to be just a random high number so it doesn't look like it started at zero so in here i'm just going to type some random numbers in and then finally i'm going to put the time code in the top left corner somewhere around here and we'll just take a look at how this part's shaping up you'll notice that the frame rate is reduced and it looks a lot more realistic for a CCTV camera. Next up I want to start degrading the footage a little bit more so I'm just going to go back to the footage layer and search for the noise effect and then drag this onto your footage. I'm going to push the amount of noise to about 30% and because we're going for this black and white look I'm going to remove the coloured noise by unchecking this box here. Now we can move on to the fun stuff and start breaking up this footage with a few digital glitch effects. There are a few different effects you can use here but the first one we're going to start with is one called Turbulent Displace, so you want to search for that up here and then drag this onto your footage. For this I'm going to set the amount to 40%. I'm going to up the complexity to about 10%. Change the evolution to about 45 degrees. And then finally we want to change the displacement type from Turbulent to Horizontal Displacement. Now I only want this effect to last about a second or so, so I'm just going to come forward to around the 7 second mark. I'm going to hit a keyframe for the amount, so 40%, scrub forward about a second and hit another keyframe. And then to stop this from being animated all the way through, what you want to do is then just go forward one more frame, change this amount to zero, do the same thing before your first keyframe, zero again. And now if you look at the effect you'll see it looks like the camera temporarily kind of loses signal so you'll see it just glitches around here and then stops again. The good thing about this is that we can very easily copy paste this effect as many times as we want so I'm going to copy paste it a little bit further in the timeline somewhere around the 12 second mark. So that's it for the first glitch effect. For the second glitch effect I'm going to add it to an adjustment layer so I'm just going to come in here and then add an adjustment layer. I'm going to stick it below the time code so I'm just going to bring this up a couple of layers and then drag this in. And this effect is called Wave Warp, so go back to the effects and type in Wave Warp and drag this onto the adjustment layer. And for this I only want the effect to be about 4 frames long, so quite short, so I'm just going to trim the first 4 frames, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then delete the rest. For this effect I'm going to change the wave type to Noise, change the height to around 200, I'm going to make the width about 10,000, and then finally for the pinning option select All Edges. 
If you don't want the direction to go downwards and you want it to go horizontal, just change this direction from 90 to zero. And I'll move this effect a little bit further along the timeline. So I'll go to around five seconds and we'll take a look at how that looks. And last but not least for the digital glitch effects, I'm gonna add something called VR Digital Glitch. So we're gonna create another adjustment layer. And we'll drag this to the timeline again. And then we're gonna search for VR Digital Glitch. Drag this on. And I'm gonna make this one really short to start with. So I'm just gonna take about three frames of this adjustment layer. So remove all the beginning, one, two, three. Remove the end. And you'll notice that this VR Digital Glitch has got some color to it. Again, because this is black and white, we don't need that in our case. It might suit your project, so you can leave it if you like it. And all you have to do if you want to remove this is go to your distortion tab and just change the color distortion to zero. And for this, I'm just gonna put it just after the original glitch effect that we had. So about a second later, and we'll take a look at how these look together. And then finally for this effect, I'm just gonna copy paste it a second time, somewhere around the 11 second mark, but this time I'm gonna make it quite a bit longer. The good thing about having these on adjustment layers is it is very, very easy to just tweak the duration of these effects. And the good thing about having it at this point in the timeline is that it's around the same time as when the turbulent displacement's happening. So you'll see that both effects are kind of going on at the same time. And the last edit I'm gonna make is, I'm gonna make it look like the camera freezes for a second. So just before he gets around the front of the car, I'm just gonna make a cut. And I'm gonna cut again, just before the glitch effect comes in. We're gonna zoom in a little bit on the timeline, and then we're just gonna take one frame of this, make a cut, press copy on this little frame, and I'm just gonna paste it just to fill in this gap. There are other ways to do a held keyframe. You can right click and, and do it a variety of different ways, but this one's quick and simple, so we might as well just do this for now. We're just gonna take a look at how this freeze frame looks. So it's just as it goes around the front of the car, it holds for a second before the signal comes back in. And that's about it for this CCTV camera tutorial. Hopefully you found some of the techniques and effects throughout the tutorial helpful. It'd really help me out if you could leave a like on the video if you did. There's a bunch of stuff you can do with these glitch effects like transitions and, and that sort of thing. Uh, I've got a bunch of tutorials on free art sets in the pipeline, so if that's something that interests you, feel free to subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.